Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Physical and Chemical Changes. Question number 1. Melting of ice is A. Option A. Both physical and chemical change. Option B. Chemical change. Option C. Periodic change. Option D. Physical change. The correct answer is Option D. Physical change. Melting of ice is a physical change because no new substance is formed. Question number 2. Which of these is the smallest particle? Option A. A molecule. Option B. An atom. Option C. A speck of dust. Option D. A water drop. The correct answer is Option B. An atom. An atom is the smallest particle that forms molecules. Question number 3. Formation of a compound is Option A. Temporary change. Option B. Physical change. Option C. Chemical change. Option D. Reversible change. The correct answer is Option C. Chemical change. When two or more atoms combine together in fixed ration new compound is formed so, it is a chemical change. Question number 4. Which of the following is a reversible change? Option A. Melting of ice. Option B. Germination of seed. Option C. Burning of matchstick. Option D. Changing of milk into curd. The correct answer is Option A. Melting of ice. Melting of ice is a reversible change while burning of matchstick, changing of milk into curd and germination of seed is chemical change. Question number 5. Crystals of copper sulfate are prepared by the method of Option A. Fractional distillation. Option B. Distillation. Option C. Solidification. Option D. Crystallization. The correct answer is Option D. Crystallization. Question number 6. In chemical change, Option A. Change is reversible. Option B. Molecules of a substance change. Option C. Molecules of the substance do not change. Option D. Substance remains same. The correct answer is Option B. Molecules of a substance change. In chemical changes, molecules of substance rearrange to form a new substance with different property. Question number 7. Which of the following is an example of physical change? Option A. A bud turning into flower. Option B. Boiling of water. Option C. Ripening of fruit. Option D. Rusting of iron. The correct answer is Option B. Boiling of water. Boiling of water is an example of physical change but bud turning into flower, rusting of iron and ripening of fruit is chemical change. Question number 8. C. Water is A. Option A. Element. Option B. Mixture. Option C. Compound. Option D. Molecule. The correct answer is Option B. Mixture. Sea water is a mixture because sea water contains a number of salts dissolved in it. Question number 9. Which of the following is a reversible change? Option A. Melting of ice. Option B. Germination of seed. Option C. Changing of milk into curd. Option D. Burning of matchstick. The correct answer is Option A. Melting of ice. Melting ice because the water once kept in the freezer will change into ice. 
then again when we take it out of the freezer it will change into water. Question number 10. Which of the following is an example of chemical change? Option A. Heating of iron rod. Option B. Melting of wax. Option C. Melting of wax. Option D. Woolen yarn to knitted sweater. The correct answer is Option C. Melting of wax. The changes which can return back in original form is called reversible change. Melting of wax is a reversible change. Question number 11. When ice is heated, it changes to water and water on further heating gets converted to steam. What happens when steam is condensed? Option A. A new substance is formed. Option B. No new substance is formed. Option C. Gaseous phase changes to liquid phase. Option D. Both B and C are correct. The correct answer is Option D. Both B and C are correct. The process of change from gaseous to liquid phase is called condensation. Steam, water in gaseous state, after condensation yields water, liquid state. Question number 12. A change is a chemical change when it is accompanied by Option A. Energy change. Option B. Formation of new substances. Option C. Change in chemical properties. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. Question number 13. Blowing of an electric bulb is a underscore change. Option A. Physical. Option B. Chemical. Option C. Both physical and chemical. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Physical. Since no new substances are formed in this change, it is a physical change. Question number 14. Adding salt to water makes it salty. Which of the following statement is true regarding this change? Option A. It is a chemical change because a new substance is formed. Option B. It is a physical change because the original substances can be recovered. Option C. It is a chemical change because there is exchange of heat. Option D. It is a physical change because there is a slight change in color. The correct answer is Option B. It is a physical change because the original substances can be recovered. Salt can be recovered from solution by evaporation. Question number 15. Complete the following analogy electrolyzing, chemical change, crystallization. Option A. Thermal change. Option B. Physical change. Option C. Neutralization. Option D. Fast change. The correct answer is Option B. Physical change. Electrolyzing is a chemical change and crystallization is a physical change. Question number 16. Which is the best method to prevent rusting? Option A. Painting. Option B. Greasing. Option C. Galvanization. Option D. Precipitation. The correct answer is. Option C. Galvanization. Galvanizing is an ideal method to prevent rusting. Question number 17. Which of the following is not a mixture? Option A. Air. Option B. Pure water. Option C. Sea water. Option D. Lemonade. The correct answer is. Option B. Pure water. Air is a mixture of various gases. Sea water is a mixture of salts and impurities with water and lemonade is a mixture of lemon juice, sugar and water. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सब्सटेंस इज अ मिक्सचर ऑप्शन ए कॉपर ऑप्शन बी सॉल्ट ऑप्शन सी शुगर ऑप्शन डी मडी वाटर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी मडी वाटर मडी वाटर इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ मड एंड वाटर क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 liquefied petroleum gas lpg used as kitchen fuel is supplied in the liquid form in the gas cylinders when it comes out from cylinder it comes out as a gas which burns which of the following statements is correct option a the process of conversion of liquid to gas involves a chemical change option b the process of burning gas is a chemical change option c both the above are correct option d none of these the correct answer is option b the process of burning gas is a chemical change the process in statement a is a physical change as the liquid changes to a gaseous state and no new substance is formed in statement b lpg bumps to form a new substance so it is a chemical change question number 20 In neutralization reaction acid reacts with the base to form salt and water and a lot of heat energy is given out this reaction is option a an exothermic physical change option b an endothermic chemical change option c an exothermic chemical change option d an endothermic physical change The correct answer is option C an exothermic chemical change it is exothermic heat evolved and chemical change new substance formed question number 21 in neutralization reaction acid reacts with the base to form salt and water and a lot of heat energy is given out this reaction is option A an exothermic physical change option B an endothermic chemical change option c an exothermic chemical change option d an endothermic physical change the correct answer is option c an exothermic chemical change it is exothermic heat evolved and chemical change new substance formed question number 22 Some pieces of chalk were taken and mixed with water. In this change, how many new substances are formed? Option A: 1. Option B: 2. Option C: 3. Option D: No new substances is formed. The correct answer is Option D: No new substances is formed. This is a physical change even though the characteristics of this mixture is different from the original substances the substances retain their properties and can be recovered back easily question number 23 for protection of iron pipes from corrosion they are coated with option a silver option b copper option c aluminum option d zinc The correct answer is option D zinc iron pipes are coated with zinc and process is called galvanization thank you for watching the video if you'd like practice this quiz then download the wonder slate app now link in the description below if you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments if you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos